This is TomorrowPictures.tv. I can breathe. George Floyd. In the brief span of 30 odd years, the world has seen an inventor's dream. This is no simple reform. Freedom and human dignity. It really is a revolution. You could ask yourself a question. Teach you how to kill. Do I feel lucky? We're like the stupid people. Far more powerful than anything man has yet devised. Inspiration and hope. Life is visceral. Tearing down that wall. Because we had stupid politicians doing stupid things. Let's get this straight. The United States. Enough on his life. And boldly. Stupid. He hasn't really talked about that. And in, in, in anything that I've heard, it's always been bad things. And I just want to make sure that he's on the right page with the world and not just America. Because America does need to be great again, but we need to be on good terms with everyone else, too. Do you think that he does his part with the environment? To destroy it? Yes. He does your part, my part, his part, everyone's part, like all of Mexico's part, part of Asia. <laughs> <laughs> what about the environment? Do you have any issues there? Do you have any concerns there? Uh, it's like uh, it's kind of a shift in like the uh, demographic of like uh, the people who are coming into Europe. Like traditionally, it's like uh, there's like uh, there's the traditional people in Europe from the 1940s, and now there's lots of people from the Middle East coming over and from Africa and all those nations. So it, I don't know if it's a bad thing or not, but it's it's upsetting like the economy there. So. We'll see how that works out, so we should pay attention to Europe and see what's going on with the turbulence there. That's what I think. I'm not going to be naive and go, oh, my country is the best. No, because honestly, uh, no offense to the media, but we're not really told about other countries unless like, it's through high school at like a boring class that you don't even want to go to kind of thing. So we don't know a lot about other countries. We don't know about a lot about foreign policies and things that we can and cannot do as an American citizen. So I just feel like if we talk more about that, we get we get places. Yeah. yeah. Questions, Donald Trump? concerns? Uh, Donald Trump? Donald Trump? Donald Trump? Can't stump him. Yeah. I can't stump him. Can't stump Trump. 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 We should all say it like at once and like be like, whoa. I think it's good. Good. What is it? Who do it? Ready? One, two, three. Can't stump Donald Trump! Trump. I am not a big fan of the environment, I, and about his rules about the environment. I'm 100% clean energy, and I was I was just talking about my mom with the, the other day about how if you know you see a country struggling with an issue, we have an oil problem. It's like a very very apparent. Uh, if you just cut them off, because we're addicted. If we cut them off, it's going to be bad. You know, we're, it's like going through the processes of getting cleansed, you know? You're gonna be throwing up, you're gonna wish like you were dead, you're going through all this pain, but eventually we're gonna get out of it. And I understand that sometimes people in the oil, uh, who believe in the oil system, are like, if we cut it off, all this stuff is gonna go off, but just like an, an addict, we gotta cut them off, and we can't just keep feeding you oil every once in a while, it's just not gonna work. So I think clean energy is definitely where we need to be, because the uh, global warming, if anything this year has proven to us, is that it's definitely real. He doesn't think it's real. He, he, I believe I'm, this is a paraphrase quote, but he said, so New York will be warmer now. Something like that, something to that effect. So global warming is your biggest concern? That's something I think as a planet we need to come together on. As a global community, that's something we need to take issue with. Uh, tonight, we'd like to say a uh, special thanks. We don't have much time to thank everybody, and especially to our friends in the business and to our wonderful friends here and all of you out there for your great loyalty. Justice will be served. I would simply like to say that I think this has been one of the great days of America.